this is your girl Disfrit Amelia back again with another video. I hope you all have had a blessed week and have found many things to be grateful for. In this video, I will be talking about 10 tips that I believe a SCAD freshman just should know, should be let in on, should give them a little bit of tips and clues that they, me, what? That they may need to know during their first year at SCAD and just being an art student, I guess, in general. This can be helpful for other colleges as well. As you're watching this video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Let's get into these tips. Tip number one is get to class on time. And that is for any college, anywhere you go. At SCAD, we have like At SCAD, we have a 15 minute late policy. So if you get into the class after 15 minutes of it starting, then you are considered late. And if you get, I believe, four of those lates, that's counted as one tardy. And after four tardies, you fail the class. Like you can't even participate in the class since we have a quarter system where we're only in school for 10 weeks, three times, fall, spring, winter and maybe summer depending on what you want to do. So if you're missing class, you're not going to get the information that you need for that class. And since we don't go to class that often, we go to one class twice out of the week, but we're in class for a long time, two and a half hours. So if you're not there and if you're not getting that information, then I mean, what's the point of being in the class? I feel like you should commit to your time, always set extra alarm clocks and things of that sort. I had like, well for my 8 o'clock classes I had at least 10 alarms, like every 10 to 15 minutes I had an alarm going off to make sure that I got up, which it, it really wasn't that hard for me to get up, but one time I didn't get up. So after that, I made sure I was good. But please, get to class on time. You don't want these tardies and you don't want these absences on you or you're gonna end up taking the class for no reason because you're just late all the time. Number two is always check the syllabus. This is also important for any college, especially for classes where you may not be reminded as much of what you're supposed to do. I had one instance in a class where we would take quizzes every day based on the books that we were reading but at the time we were supposed to read two books at the same time finish off a book and then start another one but my silly self and I'm sure the rest of the class did not read the syllabus for that day saying that we needed to start on the book so we had a quiz not on the finished part of the book that everyone read but on the beginning of another book where no one read at all so we had a quiz on something that we had absolutely no knowledge of so syllabus is really just keep you in check and keep you on track they give you like information of where your class is going to be they give you the information of what your next assignment is when your tests are going to be when your quizzes are going to be how you get graded and if you have any question with it you can also go to your professor as well but syllabuses are key to SCAD life definitely any college life to be honest number three for SCAD tips is always have your ID on you this is so important especially if you go to SCAD because you legit cannot get into anything if you don't have your ID on you like you can't get into your room you can't get into the gate to go to the room you cannot eat you can't get on a bus you can't get into an academic building like you can't do anything if you don't have your id scad security suggests that you wear the id on your neck most people don't to be honest i'm just gonna be honest i mean that's the safest place for you to have it so it's quick and easy to get it i personally carried it in my hand just because well it was my phone and my id and those two things would never leave my hand or I would know or I know a majority of students also kept it like in their wallet that they would have so just like how you would have your credit cards or whatever or even your regular ID or your driver's license they would have that SCAD ID in front of it so you can show it but always have your ID on you at all times because you never know when you're actually gonna need it and you never know when security is gonna check to see if everyone has their ID so just make sure that you have that ID on you 
in a place where you can reach very quickly to make sure that you're secure. And yes, I do know my bra straps are out and I realized today is the day not to care about bra straps. Most likely if you have boobs, you're wearing a bra as well. Thank you. Number four is don't overthink yourself. Always take things one step at a time. In such a major-based, career-based school as SCAD, you sometimes get to overthink things. Most college students in general don't even know what they want to do in college, more likely what they want to do outside of when they finish getting their college degrees. So I suggest that <laughs> you're really young. I'm guessing on this one. I mean, college age is a wide variety but you're young I mean you're still figuring things out you're still getting everything together and I know that thinking and worrying can be just natural to you at this point spending all this money you're wondering what it's for I get it I do it as well but just go with the times I mean also have a little bit of a plan know a little bit of what you want to do but don't overthink anything or everything because it'll come when it comes I don't really know if I'm communicating this well but don't worry about everything like everything will work out the way it's supposed to work out if you do your hard work if you do your research and if you're studying what you're there to study so don't worry too much Number five is keep a journal or agenda and actually write in it. I know a lot of people have notebooks or planners and just have it sit and collect dust. Keep an agenda to keep you on track because there are a lot of things, there are a lot of events that go on at SCAD. So you wanna make sure that you're on time for everything. You wanna make sure that you know everything that's going on. Read those emails. Okay, I tried to make sure that wasn't a tip, but read those emails that you get. They're great opportunities that are in them make sure you open them make sure you read them that should have been a tip in itself because emails are very important at SCAD writing a journal and just having your highs and lows of the day written down where you can read it again and see what you did or what you didn't do I feel like is a great thing it gives you a, a hindsight in what you probably did successfully through that day that you could probably do again or what wasn't so well that you probably won't do again i think it just gives you a great chart and an indication of what you should or shouldn't do throughout i guess your life or through your college career exactly through doing your major or doing your homework or whatever you want to write down like i had fun today or i ate this and this and this today if you want to train yourself on how not to gain a thousand pounds during your freshman year keep track with yourself it's just, just an easier way to stay organized and not to get overwhelmed with all the things that are probably happening during your college career six is watch your monty hunty okay scared is expensive in itself art school is expensive in itself amelia did not know that paint cost that much money i once had to buy a pack of markers six markers for 26 dollars i've never done that in my life and it hurt my cheap miserly soul so knowing that school supplies and art supplies are going to be so intensive please don't spend your money on every possible thing that you see walking down broughton or bull street or River Street or wherever you are in Savannah because you're gonna end up hurting more than your pockets. It'll hurt your heart and it'll tear your soul apart. Please watch your money. And also don't buy everything for your classes before you actually get into the class because sometimes syllabuses will say a certain thing and then the teacher might need something either extra or probably you won't need it at all because I know sometimes books are required to be on a syllabus but most times you won't not most times but sometimes you won't need it in the class or your teacher would only want you to read like a chapter or something and then you wasted your money and your time buying the book so always wait until that first day of class where the teacher explains everything and then get your materials but get materials that are needed for that first day of class make sure you have those required materials before you go but otherwise don't get everything number seven is study your craft always no matter what major you're in it's always important that you're 
going over what you're doing, like studying your craft, performing arts as an example. I feel like rehearsing monologues or rehearsing songs that you want to audition with, or even just looking at different plays and going to different plays, being in different plays, always studying your craft and just knowing how those successful people get to that success or how you can further yourself in your craft. I believe it's a beautiful thing. I have a lot of illustration and animation people around me and they literally draw and sketch every single day. It's legit practice makes, I don't want to say practice makes perfect, but practice makes efficiency. When you practice for a while, you know what you're doing and you know how to be efficient at what you're doing and you know how to be successful at what you're doing. So practice your craft no matter what major you're in. Please just study your craft and make sure that you're knowledgeable in what you wanna do. Number eight is talk to your advisors. I struggled so hard this summer before my freshman year just because I was kind of confused I would say and I didn't have much help with actually doing financial aid I was kind of confused at how you actually did it there's never like they should definitely make a class on how to do financial aid because it's rough but once I got into school and I went to FYE which is first year experience for my new SCAD students it's a class that basically breaks down everything that SCAD does like everything that you have to do in SCAD like picking classes it breaks down the events that we have, how you get around from place to place, what the different buildings are, everything like that, just to make sure that you're comfortable and aware. We only took it one day of the week, and it depends on what day of the week you take it and what time as well. After FYE, that teacher is your advisor. Well, at least my teacher was my advisor for FYE. I just continue to check in with her. I continue to contact her, email her. Um, they also give you their number. We're really close to their offices. It's about a five to ten minute walk depending on where you live, Bradley Hall, and definitely I say check in with your advisors with everything. When it came to picking classes for me, that was kind of hard too, and I couldn't get into the performing arts class that I wanted and I kind of ran out of time so I ran to the advisor building I'm calling it the advisor building but Bradley Hall and I went to even if my advisor wasn't there I went to talk to another person and they helped me with picking these classes like talking to these advisors and talking to the people that can help you with that is actually it actually gives you like first-hand experience and they know a lot more about it than most of the times we do so getting that help is key Key when you want to figure out and understand what you're doing when it comes to classes financial aid just to keep yourself in check and keep yourself on track I always say check in with your advisors my advisor was a big help to me I don't want to say her name on here because like I said about the teachers I'm not really sure if I'll get in trouble for that but I love my advisor and she just helped me so much this summer like I was so stressed last summer I literally cried every single day about financial aid and now this summer it was like a breeze i got it done in like one two three and i really appreciate my advisor for helping me with that so thank you number nine is take every opportunity possible scad has a lot of events a lot of lectures a lot of things that you can go to no matter your major so i suggest going to these lectures i suggest going to these events where people who are doing the things that you want to do are coming and giving you a hands-on or a bird's eye view at what you want to do at your profession at your career i believe it's such a great tool and sometimes SCAD students may take it for granted that they don't go to these lectures and events that they have. I try to go to every single thing no matter what it is. I mean especially if it's in performing arts I'm definitely gonna go. Depending on my schedule as well I don't want to burn myself out but I try to go to most things that I know will be beneficial for me to learn or a great thing for me to hear or a great person that I look up to that's coming to my school and giving me advice and tips on what I need to do in the business and also interact interact with the people that are doing the things that you want to do like make friends with your majors I mean make friends with people outside of your majors I feel like that's a great thing that SCAD does like everybody's so multifaceted because we have all these different kind of majors around us and it's not just 
one in the arts world. It's a whole variety of things that people do that go to SCAD and I feel like learning those skills from another person is a great way to enhance yourself in your major and what you want to do. And interacting and collabing with these people actually help your skill as well. I believe it gives you an upper hand of when you want to go to a job interview and you can do more than one thing like not just perform but you can help with the lights or you can set up lights or you can build the stage you know I believe it's so important to not just be a one trick pony but to try to get all types of different skills from all types of different places so continue to go by every opportunity because as cute as it may seem college kind of slips by pretty fast and it's important that you have these skills and that you get these opportunities that are presented to you now so that you won't worry about them later my last tip is try out for everything we also have a lot of competitions at SCAD um, big opportunities that you can do that we get emailed for and this is especially for my performing arts kids we have a bunch of plays that go on throughout the year and a bunch of different film and television things that are happening there's commercials being shot there's music videos being shot there are movies that are being produced in Savannah that students can extra in so I believe that trying out for these roles also no matter your major I think if you love to do it then you should probably try out for it and if you're you're good at it as well if you have the skill to do it then you should try out for it it just gives you experience as as well as it makes you thorough in what you do trying out for everything and to just get the jitters away out of auditioning I believe is a good way to like build your character and just have I guess a tough barrier around you because as a performing arts student a lot of no's will be thrown at you and it's just important to know how to bounce back and to keep going and to keep striving into other things and other roles and other characters. I hope these tips helped you future SCAD students or SCAD students who are in SCAD now. <laughs> I hope it helped you out. I definitely appreciate you for watching this video. I thank you guys so much, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Thank you for liking, watching, sharing, and subscribing to Disparate Amelia. If you love this SCAD video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any more questions or want me to answer your questions on question pertaining to SCAD, then please let me know in the comments box below. Thank you guys. See you later.